Hi everyone, hi it's Jolene. I am here live on Sunday night, May 1st, 2020. And we have a um, meditation tonight dedicated to the new moon eclipse in the sign of Taurus. And this is our first eclipse of the year of 2020. So in two weeks we'll have um, the lunar um, full solar eclipse. This was a partial solar eclipse. So. Uh, full eclipse coming and then a lunar eclipse um, later so we'll wait for folks to join um, let's see who we got I think I see Janet and mom hi how are you guys good evening so uh, while we're waiting for folks to join I'm going to um, hi mom how are you hey Anna how are you I'm going to talk a little bit about Taurus and the eclipse yesterday, and you guys can um, listen to me while you get settled, um, either seated or if you can tonight, get as close to the earth as you can. So if you'd like to lay down on a mat or a blanket, um, you can do that. Taurus is an earth sign, so we're going to do a little bit of grounding tonight. So the closer you are to the ground, the better, obviously. So. Um, Taurus is about our jobs, our money. Um, Taurus is ruled by Venus, so it's also about love. And, um, oh, I have my, um, I'm waiting for Casey. Oh, there's Casey. Um, oh, she's running late, but so she'll, um, hopefully see the picture of my, um, my eclipse heart, as I call it, because it's black and white. So there's my, um. My crystal for tonight. So Taurus is um, about our money, our possessions, our jobs, and love. So um, ruler of the second house of the zodiac and um, an earth sign. So very um, much in tune with nature. So I always think of Taurus as the tree hugger. So um, if you are Taurus sun, moon, mom, I think you are a Taurus moon. Um, so you probably um, be out enjoying nature or hugging trees at some point. So go ahead and get yourself settled tonight. Um, we'll, I'll talk a little bit more about the eclipse while Casey Ann is coming back, um, and hopefully she'll make it back by the time we start. But um, yesterday was a partial solar eclipse, so that is when the moon moves in between the sun and the earth, and the moon's shadow doesn't completely cover the sun, just um, partially covers the sun, so the sun becomes like a crescent shape um, when covered partially by the shadow of the moon. So um, eclipses are known for big changes, um, restarts, uh, especially at new moon time. Um, this is a good time to kind of wipe the slate clean in any of those areas I was talking about with um, your job, money, love, um, or maybe your garden, your earth around your house. So any of those can be a new start for you. And um, just taking the time tonight to maybe focus on that, wiping whatever clean that you need to and getting a new start in one of those areas of your life or just um, taking the time to ground yourself from um, all the energy that's out there right now. Mercury retrogrades coming here soon. Um, we just had the eclipse. There's another eclipse in two weeks. So a lot of astrological energy uh, is abound in the universe right now. So let's come down. Um, either seated again or if you can lie down um, take advantage of that grounding tonight and just take a scan of your body um, with your mind and identify any areas maybe that might have some tension um, maybe your neck your shoulders uh, if you've been doing any um, yard work or anything like that maybe your legs are sore hands from doing um, gardening this time of year anything like that and just take a scan and send your breath to those areas that are feeling tension so as you inhale coming through your nose your breath comes down your throat and all the way down your chest and to those areas down into your core and out to those areas that might be feeling tension and just focus on relaxing those those areas of tension tonight and letting your body relax for the next seven eight minutes or so finding your breath and you can close your eyes or just make your gaze 
um, soft if you're lying down. It's nice to close your eyes or have an eye, if you have an eye pillow or a blanket, you can cover um, your eyes um, and or lay on. So getting yourself comfortable and ready to begin tonight. And taking a few rounds of breath on your own and again, just relaxing your body. Breathing completely. One more round here. And continuing this breath as we venture tonight on a warm, sunny, sunny day, standing at the edge of a grassy path that leads into a grove of trees. So taking a walk through the forest today and forming this picture in your mind of standing at the edge of this path that winds into the tree line. The grass is bright green, very lush. And if you'd like to, you can take the opportunity to walk barefoot on this path as we start tonight to walk one foot in front of the other into the forest. It's forming this picture, looking around at the trees, looking up at the trees the sun's filtering through the leaves. The springtime is in full bloom. Hearing the birds, the different calls as they are waking up. And smelling the scents of the forest too, the new grass, maybe some flowers as you walk by. Just slowly taking your time and enjoying this afternoon, feeling the grass underneath your feet. The grass is cool, wiggling your toes and feeling the earth. grounding you, giving you safety. Giving you security. And giving you energy. As you feel the connection of your feet into the ground today. To continue walking through this beautiful forest, noticing the flowers and the trees, you notice the day beginning to come just slightly darker, almost as though evening is upon you. The moon is beginning to eclipse the sun just ever so slightly. The trees are starting to cast shadows as the light is dimming as you continue your walk. One foot in front of the other on this grassy path. The light's becoming dimmer and dimmer now as you progress and see an opening in the tree line up ahead of you. This opening leads into a clearing. Blooming with the grasses and the wildflowers of springtime, you enter the clearing just in time to finish watching 
the eclipse today. The moon's shadow is beginning to move towards the center of the moon, of the sun. The sun's making a crescent as conjoined with the moon today. Just stand watching the shadow of the moon begin to progress just a little further. And you notice the animals are becoming silent around you. The birds are no longer singing. The eclipse is bringing in a clearing, a silence that will last only a few moments. I'm feeling the energy of the earth and the joining of the moon and the sun above you. You feel perfectly at peace and safe today. You feel grounded in your connection to the earth. You feel steady. And confident. As you watch the crescent sun and the moon above you. And all you hear around you is a slight breeze and you notice your breath as the only real audible sound here at the height of this eclipse today. You're just watching overhead in the soft daylight. It starts to become just gradually lighter and the shadow is beginning to recede. It is still silent. Just enjoying this last moment of stillness. You notice the forest becoming alive again as the moon's shadow regresses further from the face of the sun, the sunlight is starting to return. And you feel lighter as if you've cleared any energy you don't need, as if you've wiped the slate clean, as if you have a new start. The sun is returning to full strength. And you take one more moment here in the clearing of flowers and grasses to contemplate on the eclipse and what you've seen today. Of what this new start might mean. of how you might make the most of this energy. The forest is fully alive again. 
and you've made your decision on the path to take from here today. Taking one more look at the sun, you turn and re-enter the forest on the grassy path, ready to return now. Your intention clear in your mind to carry with you on your walk back to where you started. And to put in action in your daily life. Enjoying the walk back now, one foot in front of the other, and feeling the grass underneath your feet. Taking a few moments now to look around before the path brings you back. Just taking a few more breaths here on your own, enjoying the end of your hike through the forest, your walk, and thinking about the intention that you set for yourself and how to make that possible. I invite you to stay here as long as you would like tonight, as long as time allows. And I wish you a um, happy new moon eclipse, partial solar. And um, I will see you in a couple weeks for the um, eclipse in Scorpio, which you guys know is my favorite. So have a wonderful week, and I will see you guys in a couple weeks. Thank you for joining. Namaste. Have a great night, everybody.